Marvin France last updated 1520, September 23, 2018 Storm fullback Philly Slater bundles Sharks winger Sose Afeki into touch at AAMI Park on Friday night. Inexperienced Kiwi Jaram Hughes could be thrust into the number one jersey for the Melbourne Storm if retiring legend Billy Slater is rubbed out of the NRL Grand Final. The defending premiers booked their place in a third consecutive decider on Friday's night with a 22-6 win over the Sharks. They will meet the Roosters at NZ Stadium on Sunday. However, Slater faces the prospect of watching what would be the final game of his illustrious career from the sidelines after he was cited for a shoulder charge for his try-saving hit on Krohn Ola winger Sosa Fecky, Jaram Hughes makes a break against the Warriors earlier this year. The Grade 1 charge means the Queensland and Australia Great will miss the grand final unless he is found not guilty at the NRL judiciary. Redmore, asterisk Luke supports Slater, asterisk Kronk scans bring bad news, asterisk Kiwis coach linked to Manly Melbourne are leaving no stone unturned in a bid to ensure Slater is available, enlisting the services of leading defense counsel Nick Gibbar, who helped former Broncos center Justin Hodges escape a dangerous tackle charge before the 2015 decider. Kiwi Joseph Manu gets past Greg Inglis during the Roosters' win over the Rabbitohs. But if the Storm's worst fears are realized and Slater is robbed of the chance for a fairy tale farewell, Hughes is shaping as the man likely to take his place. Born in Wellington, the 23-year-old playmaker made his debut for the Gold Coast in 2013 before moving to the Cowboys, but up until the start of last season he had just two first-grade appearances to his name. As he tends to do, though, Storm coach Craig Bellamy has helped Hughes realize his potential in Melbourne. Hughes has enjoyed a breakout year in 2018, making 11 starts, lifting his total tally 17 NRL games, at fullback and halfback and I'm pressing Michael McGuire enough to be included in the Kiwis' wider training squad. And if he does take the field Hughes will join a healthy contingent of New Zealanders in action on grand final day. The majority of those are up front where Storm forwards Jesse Bromwich, younger brother Kenny Bromwich, Nelson Asofa Salamona and live wire bench hooker Brandon Smith will be squaring off against Jared Waria Hargraves, Isaac Lewin Tokoroa born Cook Islands International Zane Tedivano, Tongan enforcer C.O.C. Utao Kiaho, who played one test for the Kiwis in 2015, is a key member of the Sydney Sides pack, while former New Zealand forwards Frank Paul Nuisale, Roosters and Sam Cassiano, Storm, are also part of their respective squads. However, young centre Joseph Manu could be the Kiwi to watch as he looks to cap off his first full year in first grade with a grand final ring. Another Tokoroa product, the 22-year-old doesn't receive the headlines of teammate, NSW star center Latrell Mitchell, but he has come of age for the Roosters this year, scoring seven tries with nine try assists. Manu outplayed Kangaroos center Greg Inglis on Saturday night as the Roosters secured their place in the grand final with a gritty 12-4 win over the Rabbitohs. Another strong performance on the biggest stage of all will surely see him include Maguire's Kiwi squad for the upcoming tests against Australia and England, Kiwis in NRL Grand Final Born Storm Jesse Bromwich Kenny Bromwich Nelson Asofa Salomona Brandon Smith Jaram Hughes Sam Cassiano